This is a 6138-0031 speed timer. Uh, it's an automatic chronograph, double register. Uh, this is the JDM version of what is often nicknamed Big Blue. That's what people call this model, some people. So this is the Japanese version of this particular watch. You can see as a kanji day wheel, so it's going to be kanji and English together. Um, it's it's a typical example for this particular model. Um, one of the things that's cool about the 6138, and one of the, actually there's two things that I really like about the 6138. One, it has hand winding capability, which is great. And two, the upper, uh, the upper um, aperture port for the mainspring barrel is jeweled, which is great. Uh, Cause that's sort of a big wear point with a lot of the other 60, with the 6000 series watches, both dress and the chronograph. So this is this is pretty cool. The watch is completely rebuilt. It's totally serviced. It's all original to itself. So it's original hands and dial and everything else like that. Um, bright dial, the dial service is good. Uh, there's a little bit of fading on the speed timer text, uh, but the hands are all original uh, with the white stripe. Typical for a JDM. Uh, these Japanese speed timers for the home market were not loomed, so there's no loom on the markers, there's no loom on the hands. Uh, movement's been completely rebuilt, it's got all new seals, it has a new crystal. Uh, the only thing really of note to discuss is that the case has been polished, not by me, I don't do case work, but someone did touch up this case. It's not a bad job, though. It doesn't have that... Uh, sometimes when these get polished, they have this crazy, like, melted look to them. This does not have that. Uh, the only other thing is that while it does have the original bracelet, it is short. And so, I this extender is in here. Other than that, the watch is original. I don't... Like I said, I don't do casework. So, this is... This is as clean as I can make it. And it runs well, and it snaps cleanly to zero. And it is, it is ready to go if you happen to need a 6138 speed timer. Uh, and always, by the way, uh, I have another video where I talk about this. I always leave these running. I never, ever, ever stop them because it stresses out the, um, the clutch and the chronograph wheel. So whenever you see me run one of these things, I'm always running it. Uh, but the hands do snap cleanly to zero. Um, let's let this actually get this to where the point that I'm willing to reset it, which is I always stop and reset when the sweep hand is right in this point. So. Okay, let's go. Because what that does is it, it minimizes the amount of stress that's going into the reset. And there you go. You can see it. Ready to go. Okay. Thank you much.